Hello and welcome to Crafty Christie's Creations Silhouette Studio Tutorials. Today I am going to show you how to use a DXF file and make it ready to send to your cutting machine. So today we're going to be using the Holly Jolly Christmas SVG design from CraftyChristie'sCreations.com. So here's a look at the design. This is the SVG version. So if you have Silhouette Studio Designer Edition or higher, you can import the SVG file. But if you have the basic edition, we're going to be using the DXF file. So you have already downloaded the file somewhere on your computer, and now we're just going to open it up. And the DXF files always seem to take a little bit longer to open up in Silhouette Studio. So as this is loading, let me tell you the DXF files only work with lines. So fill colors will not be present. You'll have to do a little work before you can add a fill color. Now you notice that this file is open, but there's nothing on the mat. And um, I have a little trick for you to help get it where it needs to go. So you could come over here and just zoom out until you find the file. And this could take a little time. See, there it is way out there. Or what you can do is hit on a PC. You hit Control All. Or you can go up to Edit. Select all, and then now I'm going to group it. You can come over here to this group, and now I'm going to hit this button here that's going to center it to the page. So that's going to center it over your mat. Then if you come over to this button here, this is going to fit your mat to the window. and then it's going to bring it back down to window size. Now you still have to zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire design. And I'm going to grab the corner here and I'm going to left click and shrink that design down so it's a little more usable. And then I'm going to put it back over here to fit to window. And then again I'm going to center it to my mat. And then we can shrink it a little bit more. Whoops. Control all. And then shrink it a little bit more so it'll fit on my mat. Okay. Now I'm going to click over here and hit ungroup. And now you see how everything is just little pieces. Like I was saying, the DXF file reads everything in lines, so nothing is really connected. So what we need to do is turn everything into a compound path. So these green ones are actually only one line, so I'm going to click and hold down Shift while I select all of the green holly leaves, and then I can just fill those in since they're just one line and that'll work correctly. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab all of the red pieces. And actually you can do both sides at the same time if you can grab them all. And then I'm going to right click, make compound path, and then I'm going to fill those in. Okay, now the hard part is the words. So I'm going to click and drag over have an A. And I'm going to hold down shift and unclick the J. Nope. Got to get right on that line. There we go. And instead of right clicking, you can also go up to edit. Uh, 
object, make compound path, or the quick option would be control E on a PC to make compound path. There's a lot of ways in Silhouette Studio to do the same thing. But I am a fan of the right click. Again, I'm going to right click, make compound path. And to make sure that you grabbed all the pieces, you want to fill in your words. And that's how you make sure you've grabbed everything. So now we're going to do the holly and jolly. So I'll show you. See how here I'm not grabbing this little piece inside the Y? So if I right click, make compound path, and I fill in that color. See how the Y here doesn't fill in because I didn't select that piece. So I'm going to come up here and do undo for the color fill and undo for the make compound path. So it's got all those pieces selected. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select the insides of the Y and now right click make compound path, fill in with our color and that's fixed it. So now your file is ready to send to your cutting machine. So if we go over here to the send panel, see how it's got the red cutting line around everything. So now you're good to go. I hope this helped you out with learning how to use DXF files in the basic version of Silhouette Studio. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a message down below in the comments. I will leave a link in the description to my website if you would like to pick up this SBG design. So until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.